So setting up surveillance for remote viewing is what I'm going to be discussing. First things first is you got to get into the network settings on your DVR and assign it a static IP address and choose a port. Your home network has several different IP addresses, usually all starting with the digits 192.168.1 and then a three digit number that's different on every computer or device. These three digits are your DHCP range. The router I'm using is two wire and its DHCP range is 64 to 253. And all the computers on your network are going to have a DHCP setting, which means it has an automatic configuration for IP addresses. It's first come, first serve, so the first computer your network sees, it's going to assign it 64, the second computer 65, and so on. In event of a power outage or your network being reset, your network's going to redistribute these computers new IP addresses and we don't want that to happen on our surveillance system. We don't want the IP address to change. So we're going to assign it an IP address that's outside of this DHCP range. I'm going to choose 60 and the port 777. You need to remotely dial into your router to get into the menu and you do that by entering its default gateway address in the URL. Mine's 254 which you'll notice is just outside the DHCP range ending at 253. If you don't know your default gateway you can open command prompt and type in ipconfig and it'll tell you your router's gateway address. 254. So enter the settings and find firewall and it's normally going to be listed port forwarding or applications or pinholes you're going to see a list of all your computers on your network and you're going to add a new application and name it whatever DVR surveillance the protocol can be TCP or UDP open the port 777 And now you're going to choose your DVR from the list of all the computers on your network. If you don't see it in the list, you can type in its IP address manually. And you're going to add that application to be forwarded to that computer. So this is a pinhole in your firewall that only allows access to that computer. No other computers on your network. Now there's two different ways to remotely dial into your network to view your surveillance. Since I'm on my private network and so is my surveillance, all I have to do is type in its IP address in the URL. 60. And then colon and now the port number 777 now if I was on an outside network I would have to use my routers public IP address an easy way to find out what that public IP address is is to type in what's my IP I don't know if you noticed when I was in my router's menu, but it also showed me what my public IP address was. So I'd use this address in the URL. And then colon, now the port number, 777. Now, an event of a power outage again, your network would reassign a new public IP address. So this address is already hard enough to remember, a little long when it's getting a new address every time your router gets reset. So it's a good idea to have a backup power supply on your network so you don't have to deal with these frustrations. But another thing you need to do is set up a domain hosting name. I go to dyn.com and they used to provide you with a free domain name, but now 
they want you to set up a 14 day free trial and then you have to cancel the trial and they will let you keep your domain name decide you no longer want DYN DNS Pro Trial you can keep the host name free of charge just for trying it what this does it's gonna put a program on your computer that runs and anytime your network gets a new public IP address it'll automatically send it to this company so when you type in your domain name it knows your updated public IP address this program is good to have on a computer that stays at home because if it was on a laptop and you take your laptop and get on a different network it's gonna think that's your new IP address and you don't want that to happen so you want to leave it on a PC or if it is on your laptop don't let the program run when you're outside of your home network that's all I got for now I'm sure I forgot something but this is wise guy thanks for watching any questions just type it in the comments below and I'll see what I can do to help you out thank you